What's going on y'all? Phil Deru back again with another video. Now I know you guys have liked, well we got a lot of likes on the video that we did with Jackie. So I decided to bring her back on so she could talk a little <laughs> bit more about nutrition for sport performance. Now Jackie, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about foods to power high intensity training. Okay, let's get into it. Hey guys, it's a fight nutritionist here again, and today we're gonna talk about foods to power high intensity training. So real quick, I just wanna define what high intensity training is. So high intensity training is gonna be the training that is all out. So think um, sprinting, hit training uh, for my fighters, things like wrestling and sparring. So typically something that I like to utilize with my guys in order to rate the intensity of a workout is called the rating of perceived exertion scale, or what we like to call RPE. Um, typically the scale is going to be, you know, from zero to 10, zero being, you know, you're walking, you can do this all day to 10 being like, you know, you've done all out, you feel like you're going to die. So anything that you would qu quantify is a seven or greater on that scale for your workout is going to be considered high intensity. So any type of exercise that you do that you're going to rate a seven or higher on the scale is going to fuel exclusively off of carbohydrates, meaning that, you know, when you reach a certain intensity within the training, you know, your body is only able to break down carbs fast enough in order to power those movements, those exercises. So what's going to be really important to eat before high intensity training is going to be carbs. So what about the timing? Typically, the literature suggests that one hour before participating in high intensity training, you want to consume 0.5 grams per pound of body weight of carbohydrates. Now, again, to put this more into perspective, um, this number can be pretty high depending on how much you weigh. So if you're a 200 pound individual, that's 100 grams of carbs that you have to consume before a workout. Now, in this sense, it may be more realistic to consume those carbohydrates in the form of a liquid. With. So supplements, one that I like to utilize a lot is called Vertargo. Sports drinks like Gatorade are gonna be really good. Smoothies, anything that is able to get that down quickly. Typically what I like to suggest is 30 to 60 grams of carbs before initiating exercise in that 30 to one hour window. And again, the closer it is to the workout, maybe a little bit less. So we don't have as much food in our stomach. So we're not throwing up and things like that during the workout. So if we're getting closer to the training session, maybe you know in that 15 to 30 minute window before exercise, you know, 15 to 30 grams is going to be beneficial. What types of carbs are going to be best to eat before high intensity training? In the last video, I touched a little bit on high GI versus low GI carbs. Those high GI carbs are going to be the ones that are going to be broken down very easily and absorbed quickly into your system, while the low GI carbs are going to be those that take a little bit more, you know, time to digest and process. So if you're eating food within that 30 minutes to one hour before exercise, we want to opt for high high GI carbs. And this is because, again, they get broken down and absorbed into the bloodstream very quickly and they cause less GI stress, meaning that, you know, you can digest them and they're not going to cause any stomach upset or bloating before exercise. So to put some of that food in perspective and can kind of give you guys an idea um, of what to eat before high intensity training, again, we talked about high GI carbs. So things like simple sugars, white breads, oatmeal, things like that. You know, you, you got to eat, you know, you have one hour before before training and you know you want to get in that 30 to 60 grams before training you know one cup of oatmeal is going to be about 30 grams of carbs a medium banana about 30 grams of carbs like I said you know if you're a larger individual and you need to pack in a little bit more for a hard training session opting for sports drinks are going to be really easy so eight ounces of Gatorade has about 14 grams so getting in those sports drinks will be good anything that exercise is going to take place within the hour you know this range of this 30 to 60 grams before exercise is going to be really beneficial now again if your training sessions are you know exceeding that one hour getting into the two hour window it might be beneficial to start adding some carbohydrates intro workout meaning during training again you know we want to abide by this 30 to 60 grams per hour of training and again we want to focus on those high GI carbs something very simple to digest um, for you guys that are opting for maybe protein bars or granola bars before the workout protein is fine before training but we don't want to consume too much of it because again we do want to save room for those carbohydrates, the ones that break down and digest and are absorbed easily. I would stress staying away from fats during this time. Limit the amount of fats that you're consuming right before your workout because that's going to slow any absorption of carbohydrates that you consume along with those. 
All right, guys, that's pretty much it for today. You know, if you like the video, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel. If you guys have questions for me, you can follow me on Instagram at The Fight Nutritionist. Um, you can go to my website at thefightnutritionist.com. Find me, you know, email me at thefightnutritionist at gmail.com. You know, like this channel, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.